Still temperatures probably in the high teens with just about 20 degrees across the south, but the thinking is that elsewhere across the country it will be a good deal cooler with frequent showers and breezy weather. Bye-bye. Well, hello and welcome back once again to the uh, BBC election studio at New Broadcasting House uh, in London. This is where we've been for the last, oh, getting on for 24 hours um, and uh, having a close look at those results as they started to come in last night uh, in the English councils. Well, most of those have come in now, all bar two, I think, 144 of the 146 English local authorities have, uh, have come in with uh, quite heavy losses for the Conservatives in some areas um, a very uh, upbeat performance by the Lib Dems, making quite impressive gains in some areas, and Labour making some more modest gains in terms of seats, but capturing uh, a few uh, high-profile local authorities, including Barnet in London and Westminster in London and Wandsworth in London. So the English picture we'll talk a little more about. The Welsh picture too, most of those in Scotland, as we've been discussing in the last few minutes, uh, we've got a pretty firm picture there. The one big unknown uh, is Northern Ireland in terms of the full set of results because we'll have to wait for that uh, into the early hours, maybe even to lunchtime tomorrow. But we already know that history is being made with Sinn Féin topping the poll there for the first time in elections to the Assembly. So history being made as we speak in uh, Northern Ireland with the votes being counted there. We'll have lots of that to talk about after the news, and that is with Sean. Thank you very much, Hugh, and welcome if you've just joined us at home. Here's a summary of those elections.